Hey guys, Brian here with KRS again, and in today's video I'm going to show you the flip keyboard for Android on the Samsung Galaxy S. So after you install the program from the market, uh, when you activate it, it will show you this four step process to configuring the keyboard. Um, step one is to activate it and allow it to work, and then step two, oh, if you long press in here you can change the input method, and you can switch to the activated flip keyboard. And then if you tap in the little text box, you should come up with the flip keyboard as shown right here. Uh, and this, so essentially I'll just go over what the flip keyboard is. Um, as you can see, it has eight primary buttons with all your different symbols and alphabet letters on it, uh, rather than having an individual button for every single one. And so to activate a letter, you'll, for example, if you want to press F, you just tap it like that. If you want to go to E, you're going to tap and then diagonally swipe to the E. Uh, the advantage to this is that you don't need a separate button right next to the F that you could easily misclick and uh, same for every single letter. So rather than hitting its own Y key, you can hit the J key and then swipe to the Y. Um, oops. I meant to delete, not to go back. You can delete like that. Uh, essentially, it removes the chance for error greatly while still maintaining the speed of individually uh, typing each alpha, uh, alphabet letter. Um, uh, step four, the optional changes. So you can have vibrator sounds on key press. I personally like to have those so I can tell I'm clicking a button. The hit lines are little lines direct, uh, pointing in between every single, uh, the main letter and the letters around the uh, corners of the box. Um, Scans input detection. Input detection, I think, I'm not exactly sure what this means, but it says it reduces de mistake deduction at the cost of using more processing power. If you buy the actual version, you can adjust the sensitivity as well as customize angles uh, on the lines between the letters. The uh, rest of the stuff is standard stuff. Uh, predictive text, using your, your dictionary, or plug-in dictionary, auto caps, long press to delete words and basic about info. So I found that uh, it takes a little getting used to compared to uh, just your standard query style keyboards with a button for each letter. But once you get used to it, um, I'm thinking you could actually type pretty darn fast, if not equally as fast as uh, using that method, but just using one hand. And your error rate is greatly reduced because I mean, if you want to type in a letter, you don't have to aim that well. Look how big the square is. Uh, just type in an F, you could hit there or there. I mean, it's really hard to miss. Same with J or whatever. And even with the letters that are that aren't on the uh, that aren't the main letters, so on the side, like I said for T. I mean, look how big the space is to hit T. You could start here, still go there, and get the letter T off. Um, uh, there's another program called Messages. Uh, I'll just show you really quickly. Um, that has a similar concept with the, uh, let's see, input method, messages, with the uh, click and swipe. Uh, it's arranged differently. Instead of having the same query layout, it has it uh, based on the nine most used uh, letters in the alphabet. This one takes a lot more getting used to because uh, you won't will be searching for letters the whole time until you're finally accustomed to knowing where they are versus a standard query layout. But I also think this one would be pretty darn fast uh, if you're willing to take the time to understand how to use it. Um, but for those of you who aren't nearly as patient, oh, aren't nearly as patient, I would suggest just going with the uh, flip keyboard. It's still in the query layout and it saves a lot of space as well because you have your symbols and numbers as well as all your... Uh, letters on one single keyboard so you don't need to switch between keyboards and they're all equally as easy to select without having any uh, errors in selection so uh, that's the review for the flip keyboard um, you should go download it on Android Market and try it out it doesn't take too long to get used to it's the same QWERTY layout as a normal keyboards um, give it a go and tell us what you think about it alright see ya